Hello everyone, Lethertine Scale here, also known as Scale, and welcome to Chrono Cross. Just a heads up, this is the Radical Dreamers edition on the Switch, and this did originally air on my Twitch channel, which there will be a link for in the description. But enough talking, let's get into it. Yesterday though, I had fun. Because we're, we're actually almost done with Tiny Tina. I think... Yeah, all we have left is to go beat that final boss, and then, um, oh, right. And then, like, do a few remaining side quests, and we're done with that game. I'm still undecided what I want to play after it, though. Because I have Rune Factory 5. I have been sitting on Rune Factory 5 for months. I've been sitting on it since I bought my PlayStation 5. Haven't loaded it up yet. It's actually still sealed in the... Let me it's actually still sealed in the plastic. But I'm just like, I don't... I don't know if I want to do that, or there's like a few other indie things on my Steam library or Epic library that seem like they wouldn't take super long that I could do, but I also really want to do some... I have no idea. I'm sure I will make decisions. It's, oh, why are you there? Hi. Um, so you don't see anything. Can you, like... Ah! <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Sorry, headphone users. <laughs> Apologies. <sighs> Read something saying that Rune Factory 5 might come to PCL. So I'm holding off for that over getting it on the Switch. So the reason I ended up getting my copy on the Switch... So, when I bought my PlayStation 5, I bought it as, like, a collection, like a set. Because that's the way that they were selling it at the game store by me. And the reason that they were doing it as bundles was to prevent people from, like, reselling them online. So it came with a extra controller, it came with a charging dock for the controllers, it came with Spider-Man Miles Morales, which I didn't have previously anyway. And then it came with... Um, Horizon Forbidden West, which I already had and was already streaming on my channel, and I have the Collector's Edition. So, and they were just giving me the base edition. So I was like, I don't need that, but I couldn't swap it out for anything else. Pilfer! So I couldn't swap it out for anything else, and I couldn't return it because it had to do with their policy of how they were selling the, the whole console, which I completely understand, and I get it. So what I did... Yeah, just do this. So what I did was I took the game up to the local mom and pop chain that I used to work at, and, you know, the one that sells games and such. And what I did with that was sold my old copy of the game, of the game, which was still sealed, brand new, which they would give me more money for it being sealed because they could sell it as new, and then use the money for, from that to buy myself Rune Factory 5. I still had to pay like a little out of pocket, but it was like practically nothing. Like I got one of the best deals I could ever find on getting Rune Factory 5, so that's why I went for the Switch port. Because I was like, well, I might as well use it to get something else I want. And then... I gave the controller that I had gotten to my fiancé, because he wanted a PlayStation 5 controller for his PC, because it's compatible on... I needed to go up into the middle, not around to the side where the boss was that I previously killed. Um... But yeah, he wanted it for his his Steam games. Yeah, we we did this part previously, but we have to go up further because the save point was only downstairs. I would have got it on release if I didn't have a massive backlog already. Yeah. Literally the only re and I had to act quick on that too, because I knew if I had like held on to the copy of the game too long that Oh, that's right, I should be doing the, like, multiple attack thing. Um... 
Yeah, I knew if I held onto the game too long, other people who bought the same bundle as me were going to be selling off the games, and that would like plummet the price because they do theirs based on supply and demand, and also based on um, like Amazon pricing. So that was that was my logic. Whoop! Nope! No! 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 Bad! I could have just come here to begin with. Why did I walk all the way around? I just want to point out how greatly I love and appreciate all of you for staying with me throughout my complete idiocy. <laughs> That's what I forgot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> The stairs only appear after you do the crystal thing so easy to miss. I, I appreciate you all trying to help me feel better about it. I do. But just know there's a part of me somewhere in the back that hears Red Foreman <laughs> just yelling at me. And I haven't watched that show in years. <laughs> oh no, I'm getting flashbacks. Alright, Nikki. Nikki. Oh, she, dude, don't don't glitch on me. Okay, look. I'm probably going to stab somebody. I would like for you to stop me. Please. All right, can 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 you can you can can we can we do that? I hope Tommy Chong shows up for the 90 show sequel. Wait, they're doing a what? <laughs> they're doing a what? <laughs> I'm so glad to know- I haven't, like, watched cable in a very long time. Nor have I, like, kept up on what's going on with cable television news because I don't have cable. Right? And, like, I mooch off of everybody else's streaming services. So... Is getting a sequel- is it gonna be about their kids from that 70s show? Because there's something absolutely hilarious to me, thinking about how the night- or how that 70s show was like filmed in the the 90s and 2000s which was always the joke about how they would do a sequel i love this did the red foreman pass on did the guy that plays red foreman pass on is he still alive so far it's only existence and that nearly all the cast are returning yes yes okay so that means that red foreman will be back i hope I hope. Red Foreman was the best part of that show. Like, make no mistake, he was problematic in a lot of ways, but like, that man was fantastic in the way that, like, he performed his character in terms of the actor, but in terms of the character, like, still being... Yes, and he's there. Yes! That's the best character in... I, I, every single one of the rest of those characters could have burned None of them were good people. <laughs> and I know that's the point. But Red Foreman, surprisingly, <laughs> was the best person morally out of everybody, in my opinion. Because if he hated you, he told you. The footage showing him and Kitty, the actress, don't seem to have aged well at all. Uh, yeah... You know what really trips me up, by the way, is seeing Kitty uh, guest star in Friends is somebody's teacher that she's sleeping with, and I'm just like, no, but you're Mrs. Foreman. Anyway, we're opening this door while my brain processes that 70s show. Here we go. Cinematics. I love how grainy it is for the, even the remaster. Oh, yep. All right, Nikki, it's on you. You gotta stop me. I knew it. We're a vampire. Yep, that's what I thought. I didn't work on my accents at all. Eesh. Come on, mate. Nope. I'm just gonna keep butchering this. I'm gonna keep trying. Eventually, I'm gonna get good at it. Okay. Oh, it's you and you. What is- what is happening? What- what- 
Uh, I, okay. Exodia, yes. So I just, I'm going to point this out. I can't lower my arms at the moment until the deodorant dries. <laughs> this might be a while. <laughs> so just, just throwing that out there. If I start doing a lot of talking with my hands, it's because I have to keep my elbows up. I think the only person that's not returning is the actor that played Hyde. That's fair because... It, trust me, my arms are still up. Uh, that's fair because doesn't that guy have, like, lawsuits against him or something? Looks super comfy. I know, right? That's great. <clears throat> Finally, we've been expecting you. I'm trying to keep that one all in the teeth. I have no idea how that's going to work. I have nothing personal against you, but anyone who hinders our plan must be eliminated. I'm rather sorry about that. Uh, no. Is this where you're going to tell me I was mind control to kill kid? Good thing I saved it before this. Because I don't know why, but my brain was not expecting a boss fight. Whoa. Care for some warming up, eh? Come on now, lads. I'll take you on. I thought for sure you were going to give me a tutorial, buddy. Like, <laughs> not now. <laughs> Alright, let's see what... Oh, it's just General Viper? I for sure thought that we were going to fight them both. Because General Viper isn't the problem. It's uh, Lion Face behind him. This whole place is boss fight central. What, am I going to fight six bosses? Is each one of these dragon statues going to come to life and try to smack me into the floor? Plus side, though, all those star levels. Yeah, that's that's true. Love this whole section. Yeah, this is, by the way, this the whole area was the section I was talking about when I was on... when I was watching um, Auntie Vodka Cabaret's stream last night saying that they looked familiar. Because, you know, Square Enix game. Oh, I should, since I have the opp- Why are you on this side? And my favorite map in the whole game comes later. No, but you do have to fight Lynx immediately after General. That's fair. You already went through four bosses to get this far. Okay, you got a point. <laughs> you do. Hey, don't kill her until I've stolen things from you, please. Also, he just wanted to take a second at the start of the fight to talk about car insurance. <laughs> You're right, so this place does have a total of six boss fights. Huh. That's very suspect. Uh, right. We're stealing things and seeing if it works. And this isn't even that long of a dungeon either. You're right, it's just a boss rush. Hey, I stole things! Stamina ring. Also, my arms are still out. Even though you can't see them, because this, this shoulder's like down. I'm, they're not, by my, usually I play my games like this, and now they're like, we're over here today. And it's just gonna be like this. Okay. So, the one color we don't want it to be is yellow. It does not matter for literally any of the rest of them. But what would help is slowly starting to turn the room blue. But I want to get everybody built up a little bit before I even start doing that, because if I do that and I don't have Nikki ready, we're screwed. G-Force. And that dude could have been a party member? Man. Okay. And there we go. He's up to max, which means now he's got access to his summon. So now we just have to focus on turning the room. Don't do this to me. Oh! Yeah. Okay, we don't need to get it up all the way. But we can make her... Yeah, cure plus yourself, honey, because... Chua. Boy, oh boy, do you need it? And we need to turn the room, so... Um, let's see, what do you have? In terms of blue. We have an ice blast. 
I can go, hot, go ahead and give that a shot. Okay, we are one step away from turning the room blue. I'm not going to make Nikki attack. Surge has one more tier one water move. I know he does. Yeah, Aqua Beam. I knew he had one more that wasn't a uh, cure. So we've got that set up. Now all Nikki needs to do is do his summon. And we're set so long as nothing misses. Frog Prince for the win. Woo! Got that off. That's that's one step. I'm content with that at least. If I only manage to, even if I lose this fight, I'm still gonna be impressed. <laughs> Our jingle boy, yes. Thank you, Nightbot. <laughs> if I had known that was gonna be nearly that long when I typed out that whole Nightbot thing, I wouldn't have. He's leaning. Hey, he's leaning. Okay. What I want to do is I still want to build up Nikki a little because he still has some really good ice moves. <laughs> oh, that's not good. When you're wailing on some dude and they start laughing, that's not good. Did I, did I win? I guess I won. Who knew Frog Boy for the win? I mean, you guys, obviously, but the point stands. Dragoon Gauntlet. Ooh. <laughs> you are a worthy opponent. But let us see how you do now. I shall give it my all. Oh. Here's one other special attack called Air Force SAOE. Oh, cool. Great. Wonderful. <gasps> Links. You. Traitor. Wait. Wait a sec. Wait. That's the same knife in the vision, right? That was used to kill Kid. So, does that mean that in the other world, technically, that's where I'm supposed to kill Kid? Because that would be a role reversal. Right? These guys in the other world would have to, in theory, like if you were to do like a flip universe, these guys would have to be the good guys, and then I would be the one stabbing Kid in the back to take over. Right? No, nobody, nobody answered that yet, but like... <laughs> but no one knows. Betrayal, who knew Lynx was that kind of person? To be fair, I actually anticipated him to be that kind of person because clearly Lynx was not a good person and also simultaneously Viper was too trusting, but I really thought that it would happen like later. Oh. Man. You are extremely useful in helping me make my way around these islands. I appreciate your help, General. However, I no longer have any need of you. This fort shall serve as a fine grave marker for you and your dragoons. Is he with us? There's no way he's with us. No, 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 no. He spent too long trying to kill Kid. He's not with us. May you rest in peace. <clears throat> Damn. Forgive me. Riddle. Riddle? Isn't that... What was, what was the name of the, the mayor of our town? Was that Riddle? Or is that... Right? Riddle is his daughter. Oh, thank you. Yes. That's right. And we, we've seen her. We took her, we took her hostage. I was going to say kidnapped and hostage at the same time. Neither of those words work together like that, by the way. All right, cool. So we're adopting the daughter. That's what that's what that reads to me. Now, let this be your final resting place as well. And, uh, you know, maybe he's not dead. His body hasn't fizzled out and disappeared yet in the classic Square Enix way. 
come on, Lynx. You're going down. One day. One day. If anyone wants to make Liana from Auntie Vodka Cabaret feel better, tell her about my attempts with the Australian accent and how it didn't happen. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, we covered you before. We know that you're dark. We still want to try and get the... Uh, we want to get the blue off, but before we can do that, I want to try to pilfer from him. See if I can get anything cool. Okay. Pilfer! I'm starting to get the hang of this, I think. Ever so tiny mounts. Ha <laughs> ha! Bite me! Greater Pendragon Sigil. Ooh. Okay. Okay. All right, let's build up Nikki. I want to get him ready. Glide hook. Ow! You insufferable two-timing prick. All right, we're going back over. We're going to have to get ready to cure him, I think. Okay, switch back over, go to kid. Because isn't her... Yeah, her water element's like in one. Actually, I think she's got a couple now, but... Okay. Build him up a bit. Don't you even. Oh. Oh. Okay, so we're doing multiple cures, it looks like. Cool. And... Okay, I'm content with that. We're gonna have her cure plus herself for that one. Yeesh. And then Surge can just cure. Actually, I could, since I'm being a little desperate, if I just do a one, because that'll still set me back to being able to summon, and it does help a little bit with Surge, then Surge can use his next ice move, it'll turn the whole room blue, and it shouldn't drain Nikki that much stamina. That's my hope. We're going to see how that goes. Okay. Please let this go off without a hitch. Okay, we have Ice Blast. Please, 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 please. Did I not plan that well? <sighs> no. Okay, okay, okay. Now we have it. We've got it. We're in the clear. We're good. Everybody's happy. The summon happened. And I even pilfered cool things off of him. I will take a minor victory in that. And now he's wheezing. Thank you, Sir Ribbit. Greatly appreciate you. Okay. So, I think the goal right now is just to try to keep it blue until he attacks again. And there it goes. Ooh, he picked the right kid to hit for that. Okay. I'm going to take a second to defend. Because, 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 I want to build him up just a little more. And what kind of elements can I pull off? We can do the dash and slash, which tends to usually hit for a fair amount. And the dude is black magic. It'll work. I hope. So much, I hope. Yeah. That, there's, there's no way that was a light hit on him. Okay. What options do we have available to us? Nothing in particular that I want to do. And I want to just keep turning the room. So, we're just going to keep hitting. 
I want to get her numbers maxed out. That's why I didn't go for a higher level attack yet. Because I know I can do way more. But never mind. I guess we win. Hey, everyone got a star level. There we go. Greater Pendragon Sigil. Does that mean I have two? You're more trouble than I thought. But do you really think your skills are superior to mine? <laughs> what, do you, what, do, what do you mean grabs popcorn? Oh, no. So, loser. Cray, we're all going to die horribly, aren't we? Serge. Have you ever questioned who you really are? Yeah, I'm a dead kid on a mountain. Oh, God. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We're not murdering. We don't do the murder here, Serge. We don't. I didn't bring you all the way up here to kill kid. If we wanted to do that, I could have killed her, like, aeons ago and just not gotten the Hydra poison and saved an entire civilization of people. But I didn't. Sedge? What has been the significance of your existence up until now? Uh, well, I was living in a nice uh, island town with my girlfriend, who was going to ask me out until I got hit by a magic wave, and that's been my significance. Thank you. On that ominous day ten years ago, the boundary of space and time was torn, and part of me, in fact, died. Oh. Okay. So, you're a ghost, and that's why you do dark magic? Well, then why do I do light map? Oh. Cinematic. It's Selena! Hi, Selena. Oh, wow, they even bothered to put the dots in. Because all panthers actually have spots. Yeah, he's so cute. Please don't kill me. Eh, he probably killed me. It's fine. It's just like Selena for you. You cannot defeat me, Serge. How come your coloration's different then? Like, even on your model. Erasing my existence would be the same as wiping out your own. What? Oh, I see. So in one world, he died, and in the other world, he lived. Similarly, in one world, I died, and in the other world, I lived. I see. But whether or not my living and his death happen in the same world or not is currently not expressed. Don't be taken in by his rubbish, Sedge. I feel... Uh... This guy's full of it. Huh. We'll see about that. There are two sides to every coin. Life and death. Love and hate. They're all the same. Eh, you're not quite wrong, but... What'd you say? Talk some sense, will ya? Uh, no. Oh, no. Oh, honey, no. What? 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 No. No. Yep, there it is. Sedge, what's wrong? Lynx, what have you done to Sedge? Sedge, are you alright? Oh, 
And that one hurt my throat to say, no, bad. You don't get to talk. You're the protagonist. I don't even have a voice for you. Uh, okay. And I'm just, just, I gotta, I gotta think while I just, give me a second. Just one second. What? Uh, no, 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 nope, no, nah, -uh. nope. I'm, I'm looking for anything. And Oop, I just hit the table. Freddy's sticking with me for this one. Nope, or not. Nope. No, if I don't hit the plus, I don't if I, if I don't hit the next button, he doesn't have to be evil, right? I love that all of us have the proper respect and are just keeping our mouths completely shut, letting things play out. Appreciate it. What? I, I, I'll read the line and I'll go on in a second. I just... I need a second to process. I just, it, it, it just, just, just. Okay. The main character in a Square Enix game. Before voice acting, talking. That isn't Final Fantasy. Okay, just, just, just gonna sit up straight. <clears throat> yes, I'm fine. That, that's not the voice I wanted to give you, but apparently the mucus decided that. I'm just fine, kid. Get, 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 get away. Kid, get I... Oh! Oh! Oh, no! No. What are you doing, Lynx? Now's your chance, kid. Kill him. Yeah, I know. Hold it. Hold it, honey. Uh-uh, we ain't doing this. This is the end of you, Lynx. Say your prayers. Nikki, don't let the... Nikki, what I just said? No! Uh-uh! Y'all lied to me. I asked you. <sighs> Y'all said there was going to be six boss fights. I consider each one of these guys a boss, especially because they've got a summons. Y'all lied to me. This is nine. This is nine boss fights. They have 21 star power. Y'all lied. Okay, I'm, I'm past it. No wonder he's on the frickin' box. Oh, Sunny Boy, you going down first. I, so I wonder how this would feel, right? Um, being Chrono in Link's box. Did he really do this out of his own self-preservation? Like, what? Ooh. Not great. What do we got? I was confused. I was like, holy light. What, do I have Chrono's moves? But... I do. I do have Chrono's moves. You could try running. You're right, because then I wouldn't have to kill anybody, right? Yeah. Even during the actual fight against him, he had a copy of Surge's grid.
There's no escape links. Nope. All right, I tried. I tried. I wonder... I wonder, right? I've played enough indie games to tell me that I should try doing this at least three more times. Just try. Bear with me, even if it doesn't do anything. I just need to know. No escape links. I don't- so here's my theory. Ready for this? Cause this is- this is a wild one. I don't think he had a copy of Serge's grid. I think the grid is contingent on the soul of the person. I'm gonna give it one more try. Like I said, I'm doing it four times total. There's usually like groups of three. Um, so, and then with the exception, because I'm now in a new body, like then I obviously have a new move that's obviously gonna be special to him. Man, this isn't good. My surge grid is practically all, okay. I thought I'd give it a try. I, I gave it a, a valiant effort to run away multiple times to prove something. Now I just gotta figure out how to switch back. So... Nikki. Lynx's level 5 special is fun. Ah. Summons a swarm of cats. I'm in. Okay, let's back up. You gave them a chance. Now you can feel a bit better about fighting back. True. True. You're right. Is this AoE or is this... It is AoE. AoE for the win. That is so cool. On the plus side, I know what their max health should be. Right? Or do they change health stats? Don't kill me. Yeah, how exactly was I gonna win that fight? I feel like that was scripted for me to lose. Nope, I wasn't supposed to lose that. It is meant to be unwinnable. So... When I hit continue then, did I do something wrong? Should I have hit new game? Thanks everyone so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked what you saw here today. And be sure to hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I'm playing more Chrono Cross. Take care, everybody.